Hey y'all, <laughs> welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Of course, if you do enjoy my content, make sure you subscribe. I upload videos three times a week, Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram. That's where I interact with most of you guys via DM. Today is Saturday. It's so gloomy and ugly outside. So, it, oh, it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't look glo gloomy and ugly, but y'all, it's so gloomy and ugly outside. I woke up early this morning and um, got some breakfast from Chick-fil-A and then went to Kroger to get groceries. I still need to go to the farmer's market to get fruit and meat, but I got all my other basic stuff at Kroger. So, I literally just got back home. I figured I'd turn on the camera and vlog today. I don't really have a super busy day. Um, we're just going to unload the groceries. Darian gets off at 12. Um, I have to go watch my niece today at 1.30. Come back home, chill. I might put up the Christmas tree today since Darian is gonna be here. And then later on tonight, um, one of our friends is having like a surprise birthday. Um, it's not a dinner, I guess like a, a surprise birthday get together because it's at like the lounge. Um, so we're gonna go there later tonight. But other than that, it's just gonna be a real chill day. Mace just had a panic attack. Y'all, Mace suffers, I don't know if y'all know this. Say hey. <sighs> I don't know if y'all know this, but Mace has separation anxiety. It's terrible to the point where he will have like little panic attacks and little sweat sweat outs if I leave. I was literally gone for an hour to go to the grocery store, but it's so bad. Like his separation anxiety is so bad that I had to get a prescription, like a prescription for him. Um, I didn't give it to him before I left this morning because I don't want it to be something that he's dependent, dependent upon. And I was only gone for like an hour. Um, but I am gonna give it to him later today because we'll probably be gone for a couple of hours, but yeah. Let me show y'all what I mean by like little panic and sweat attacks, look. Come here. So he's not wet, he didn't go outside or anything. He literally just freaked himself out. You're fine. I just had to get groceries. Yeah, I'm just about to wash my hands so I can get the groceries out the car and then unload the groceries.
Hey y'all. So it's later in the day. I actually just finished getting dressed for my friend's surprise party. I'm holding Macy. He said because we're about to geo. So I'm trying to baby him. I want to, um, I guess I'll do an OOTD later, but I want to show y'all the final product of the refrigerator, which y'all know I organized. I didn't go to the farmer's market today, but I'm gonna go tomorrow to get like fruit and meat. And I also, I didn't really organize the pantry, but we got some new containers from our housewoman and I put some of our um, things in the pantry in some of our noodles and different snacks that we keep in the pantry, I put them in those organizational bins. I do wanna order a set of four that I saw on Amazon that we can keep bigger stuff in, like our cereal. And then I am gonna get like some baskets and some labels to label it that way. I really like Raven Elise's pantry. Like I think it's super simple, super organized and the fact that everything has labels with one font. Like I don't wanna write things on my containers. I wanna have it printed. So that's kind of the look I'm going for. My makeup look good. Then let me show y'all the pantry. Which our pantry is pretty organized, but I don't know how I feel about the chips and stuff. Those are in Ziploc bags because they're left over from the housewarming. Um, this Darian must have been in here. This doesn't go there, it goes here. Just keep our canned vegetables there. That's all this dip left from freaking the housewarming barbecue sauce. So, okay, he been here. He been in here since I've been gone because that's not how I had this stuff. And then syrup, Heinz, pasta sauces. Here we have all of our rices and noodles. These are the containers that I was telling you guys about. I really love these containers. You literally just pop up the top and pull it open and it seals in the freshness. So yeah, I have grits in that one, Cheez-Its, M&Ms, peanuts, panay, um, pasta, ridi pasta, no, ziti, <laughs> ziti pasta, and then lasagna. I still need another tall one for spaghetti, and I need another tall one for cereal, and then this is kind of where it just kind of get out of control, which is why I want baskets. So yeah, we are about to go to our friend's surprise party. I haven't eaten today, so I'm probably going to just stop and get some Chick-fil-A. I am going to leave the TV on for Mace because the vet said that noise kind of helps him not be so anxious when I'm gone. You ready, babe? Yes. Yeah. Why you got to put a hat on? <laughs> you crack me up with your hat. You going to put your dirty clothes away? This is the kind of stuff Darren does, y'all. His hangers, his dirty clothes. Yo, this hanger was on the steamer. Because it lives on the steamer. Oh, you gonna go put it back on the steamer? Did I take it off? Oh, you dirty. Oh, what? Clean up, clean up. Boy, show y'all what I'm wearing. Something super simple. Some black Adidas tights, some black booties, a uh, black bodysuit, jean, jacket, yeah. Darian's wearing some, what kind of ones are those? Green? Yeah. Green ones, black jeans, black shirt, green shirt, black hat. Y'all, he, he was wearing some brown pants and then he saw my outfit cause I got dressed first. And he switched to black pants because he wanted to, I wanted to match me. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's so cute though, so. Cap. But it ain't no cap. He's wearing some brown Levi's. I don't like brown pants. They look too uniformy. Maybe because I had to wear uniforms in school. I don't wear brown pants. Khakis. Khakis are nice. Are nice. A good, a good, nice pair of khakis, isn't it? Yeah, I'm talking about khakis with a polo shirt when you're going like 
to that type of event, but to go out, no one no okay. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the TV on too. So yeah, I see y'all in the car. Come on, y'all know ain't that light. Hey y'all. Oh, let's go, Zach. Zach Levine had 49 in the game winner. Let's get it. How can I vlog if you're playing that in the background? I'm sorry. Hey I'm happy for my boy Zach. We're he here. tore his ACL too. We're here. Who is Zach? Zach Levine. He played for the Bulls. Oh, that's your friend? Yeah, he had 49 and the game winner tonight. Oh, great. <laughs> Look at it. So, y'all, we are at this place for the surprise party. We didn't get out yet. We actually stopped, like I told y'all, and got Chick-fil-A because we ain't eat nothing today. I'm about to put some lipstick and lip gloss on. It's 9.47 and we're supposed to be here at 10. So we're going to sit in the car and people watch. Scope the place out. And then we're going to go inside. Can y'all tell I got my hair cut? Babe, can you tell I got my hair cut? Or it look the same. You look a little shorter. Mm. Yeah. Still looking nice though. Thank you. I had to get a little... I ain't have to, but I got a little bit cut off. And some of my ends were really split from wearing sew-ins all summer. So. But yeah. Um, not sure if I'm going to bring the camera in here. Probably not. Just because yeah. I don't really know... Yeah. I don't really know Cameron's friends well enough to put them on my channel. So, there's that. 